guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing a very exciting and innovative product from Maybelline, which is Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel Tint. It's basically a gel tint, peel off tint for your eyebrows. And if you want to know how it works and how it looks and whether it's good or not, then please keep on watching. So this is Maybelline's Tattoo Brow Tint and this one retails for 625 rupees for which you get 5 ml of product so that's not a lot and it is quite expensive than the average brow product that you get in the market. Now this one actually comes in various shades like I think I've seen like 2 or 3 shades in the international market but on Nykaa which is where I got this from you only have one shade so I am willing to believe that they've only launched one shade in India which is called medium brown and honestly I don't have a problem with with it because I feel like that would work with most skin tones or most eyebrows because it's neither too dark nor is it too light as you will see in the demo I think it's pretty much like in the middle and really would suit a lot of different um, eyebrow hairs so this is what the packaging looks like you do have a little diagram given on the side so you kind of like know how to use this so this is what the brow product looks like and once you open the crap, this is the applicator. It's like a thick brush. So I'm going to apply this on my eyebrows, let it sit for 20 minutes and then come and peel off and see how it looks. So here we go. Let's do this and I hope I don't screw it up. It feels so weird as if I'm coloring my brow, which essentially is basically what you're supposed to be doing, but it feels weird. I am done applying them on my brows. This is what they look like. It looks so scary and it essentially felt like applying Fevicol or lash glue like if you've ever used false eyelashes and the um, eyelash glue that you get it's basically like that the texture and the feel of it and everything is very similar. So I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then we will come back and drip it off and hope that I don't drip off my eyebrows in the process but I'll see you in 20 minutes. It has been half an hour so now let's try and drip it off and hope that I don't drip off my eyebrows in the process. So I'm going to start off with uh, this one. Oh. This is one eyebrow done and this is what's left of it. The um, peel off gel thingy so this is what they look like after being peeled off and I honestly don't see a very big difference like they just look slightly more darker like they've obviously been tinted but that's about it I don't really see anything um, very impressive I should say so hopefully you will be able to judge better but for me I just think that they've just turned a shade darker that's it now let us sum up the pros and cons of this product. So the pros basically are number one, it's really fun to use like the whole like I am someone who is obsessed with peeling off stuff so for me to peel off my eyebrow hairs and stuff is really fun. By the way it does not really um, peel off your eyebrow hairs and I think that would be like the number one concern for everyone who is willing to try this that will it rip off my eyebrow hairs? The answer is no. It did rip off two eyebrow hairs of mine but not that much it's very gentle there is no way that you will actually rip off all of your eyebrow hairs with this so be rest assured that this is safe to use on your brows um, so yeah number one is that the whole peel off thingy it's really fun to use it's really um, innovative as well as they call it uh, the second uh, pro with this is how natural it looks like you can barely tell that I've done something to my brows it looks extremely natural and this is like the most natural finish that any eyebrow product has ever given me and I've tried pomades, I've tried gels, I've tried um, those eyebrow gels, pomades and those pencils and everything and this is like the most natural looking brows that I've ever gotten. So it does really give you very natural looking brows and it's also really fun to do the whole peel of thingy. Those were the two pros of it. Now the cons of it unfortunately outweigh the pros of it. So con number one is the whole th um, fact that you have to wait 20 minutes for this to actually dry. Now let's say you are in a hurry and you have to go somewhere and you have to leave the house immediately. Would you actually have the time to put this on, wait for 20 minutes and then peel it off and then you know finish off your routine? I don't think so. So it's really time consuming and it's really time consuming and 
to think that you have to spend 20 minutes on just your brow like just your brow you have to spend 20 minutes it's too much so personally for me the 20 minutes thing is an issue and also the fact that even though um, it does tint your brows it does not set them in place so you would have to additionally go in with another um, brow product let's say your eyebrow gel to set the set your eyebrow hairs in place so if I am to use another eyebrow product for my brows I might as well also use just another brow pencil and do my brows and then leave the house in five minutes instead of waiting for 20 minutes for this to dry do you get my point I hope you do basically what I'm trying to say is that it's very time-consuming that was con number one con number two is that it says that this is like this very long lasting formula but like I said it really does not last you for that long it lasts you barely for like two days 48 hours max and then slowly it will start to fade out con number three is that you really have to use a lot of product for it to actually work like if you use like little of it it won't drip off very nicely it will look patchy so you have to use um, quite a significant amount of product on your brows for it to actually tint nicely and look very even and considering the fact that it does not come in with a lot of product in the bottle itself I don't think this will last you for a very long time and it is pretty expensive than the average brow product like I said at the beginning of this video so all in all I think that this has more cons than pros and for that reason I actually wouldn't recommend you to buy this you can if you are looking for just a fun brow product to try or if you are really a fan of natural looking eyebrows but I think for more than one reasons I would actually advise you to not buy this just buy the regular eyebrow pencils and eyebrow pomades and gels that you have those work a lot better and also would actually last you a lot longer that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you found this review helpful and if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't and i will see you guys sometime later this week until then take care and goodbye